Hello Libra, I hope you're doing awesome. Time for your reading. So let's see what's showing up for you. What you'll be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for your uh, highest good. Let's see. Of course, we're going to ask about your soulmate as well. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, most of you are not in contact. Some of you in sporadic contact. So let's see. Also, what's going on with them in their life, what they're dealing with, facing, and how they are currently uh, relating to you at this time, especially emotionally. So let's do this, Libra. Universe, please step in, show us very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good. I see extras already. Very strong energies here. Wow, four of them interesting um what is coming towards libra what will libra be facing dealing with queen of cups six of cups so you are very much feeling emotionally attached to your soulmate um reminiscing about the good old times also, this shows past life connection. That's why you're so emotional. Queen of Cups is emotions. Six of Cups, emotions, feelings. Um, I just looked on the bottom. Eight of Cups, also emotions, feelings. But um, somebody walked away from somebody here. Page of Wands, communication. Ten of Cups. So all these emotions. So you know that reconnecting with this person or communicating with this person will bring you happiness joy because there's such a strong soul connection between the two of you let me see the extras hanged man death um three of swords and four of pentacles be careful with your health um, usually this message will not show up in general readings, but it's showing up here that uh, some of you have problems with health. You may not be aware of it uh, fully. You may be suspecting. Uh, the best thing to do is to go for yearly physical, have CBC done on your blood and uh, check for whatever is wrong remember we all get sick here and there the point is not to procrastinate going for physical or any type of testing diagnostic testing you need done the sooner we catch it the better okay um this also shows you being heartbroken um uh, because you love the person uh heartbreak three of swords with four of pentacles means um you unable to release this person. You are hanging on, um, hoping that this will work out because you love this person. Let me see more. Let's see more what's going on with Libra. What is Libra dealing with? Some of you may be dealing with a Scorpio. Also Pisces showing up here very strongly. And water signs, fire signs. Five of Wands, Leo, very strong Leo energy, wanting to take action. So to really have some kind of resolution and answers, the two of you need to communicate openly, honestly. Honest, open communication needs to happen. Yeah. So matching pair showed up here. King of Wands with Queen of Wands. So... This person cares for you deeply. The world. Some of you are dealing with Leo also. Taurus. Um, they view you as somebody who is stronger than them. Uh, Leo again showing up here. Also Aries. Uh, so this is you making decision. If you don't have clarity yet as to what you need to do, you will have clarity soon. You will know what it is that you need to do, how to handle the situation. Um, this is beautiful combination. Ten of 
cups with the sun, the best energy in the whole deck, also representing Leo. No matter what sign you're dealing with, uh, honest, open communication between the two of you will bring uh, awesome energy in. Look at this. Happiness, joy, understanding. Even if the two of you after that will decide to walk away for good, you won't be walking away with any grudges or resentment because we all know that when we are done with the relationship and walk away with grudges, resentment, anger, we bring that nasty energy into our next relationship, which will directly affect it negatively. So it's very important that people understand um, that when they decide to let each other go for good, that they don't walk away with grudges and anger and resentment because you will hurt your next relationship. Yeah, you will. So let me see. I want to see more clarification here. Universe, please step in, show more clarification for Libra. Two of Pentacles. Uh, here is your soulmate energy, uh, lovers. You, this is you trying to make a decision, a choice. Yeah, heartbreak, sadness. Apologies will need to be spoken by both sides. Remember, it takes two to tango. So in a relationship, two people make mistakes, not just one. One may provoke it. One, one may make more mistakes, but... Two people always make mistakes, so it's important to see that we are all human. We all make mistakes, and to sincerely admit it and um, forgive—that's the best way to move on. But not, but not to repeat the same mistakes. To learn, you see. So the two of you were together many lifetimes. Here it is. But some of you are thinking this is it—that you want to totally cut it out. <clears throat> Uh, sever the ties with this person even though you love them and then your heart is wanting to reconcile so it's like a battle uh, between your mind and your heart your mind wants to sever the ties for good your heart wants reconciliation because you your heart feels broken missing them so you want to reconcile and Honestly, this combination here, uh, lovers with two of cups, shows that the two of you are soulmates from many lifetimes. And remember, all soulmate relationships are challenging because they are supposed to be. We grow and learn through challenges. We don't grow any other way. Um, yeah, look at this. Many lifetimes together. Uh, there are some people showing up here for you. Libra that are around you, fake. Um, be very picky who you allow to hang around you, who you trust, because you have some people here, frivolous, draining your energy, jealous, not meaning you well. You need to be more selective who you allow into your personal space, who you call your friends, okay? Um, be a little more selective with people that you call friends, uh, you have a lot of uh, energy vampires hanging around you here uh, to trying to use you for whatever they feel they can use you for, whether it's connections, resources, finances, you name it, opportunities. There's a lot of fake people out there. So uh, listen to your intuition. It's better to have less friends but solid ones than users who drain your energy and resources. So be very selective. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, backstabbers. Yeah, let's see your soulmate. Let's see what's going on with them. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Libra, for Libra's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Libra, no matter what sign or gender they are, what are the soulmate's energies currently? What is the soulmate of Libra dealing with? facing and how is the soulmate of libra relating to libra at this time especially emotionally king of wands magician so this person would like to control the relationship would like to 
handle it the way they want to handle it. They're not sure how to proceed. But with this particular deck, the Two of Wands comes with the Sun and the Moon, which means even though they are confused at this time or not seeing clearly, eventually they'll see clearly what it is they need to do. So you did, no matter what sign they are, you're dealing with somebody who is very, very much uh, determined um, to either get you back or to have you for good in their life. Some of you are dealing with the Leo, Virgo, Cancerian, and Gemini. Very strongly Virgo energy showing up here. Beautiful. Some of you may be dealing with another Libra. No matter what sign they are, it shows here this person wants to do right. They want to. Uh, this also shows soul agreement. So you do have a soul contract with this person. They uh, came into your life for a reason. So you met for a reason. That does not mean you have to have them in, in your life if you don't want them. You have what's called free will. So if you decide you don't want them in your life, you can walk away. The universe respects your free will choices. This person is uncertain how to proceed. But all these major arcanas here show that this is a soul contract. Some of you may be dealing with the Cancerian, also Pisces. So they're waiting to see how you reach out to them, if you're going to reach out to them. Silent treatment showing up here for a lot of you. Um... Six of Swords, uh, emotional disappointment, heartbreak in the past between the two of you. The world, all these major arcanas at a distance from you. So this person is at a distance from you. Also dealing with the Leo and Taurus, another major arcana. Again, lovers. So it is a strong soul bond you have with this person. With all these major arcanas, you're going to have an opportunity to resolve this. Uh, with all these major arcanas showing up here, Gemini again, you're going to have an opportunity to resolve this and then decide if you really want them in your life or not. Uh, this shows fights, disagreements of serious nature in the past. This person wants to reconcile with you, but they don't know if you're going to or how to go about it. Yeah, so this person has a lot of toxic people around them. Shady drug, drugs, involvement in drugs, uh, either dealing drugs, using drugs. This is not a good combination. This person may not necessarily be evil. Uh, but they are involved with people. They have people around them that are shady, uh, sneaky, uh, working against the law. So if they get caught, they're going to go to prison. This is serious energy here. This person, though, does care for you emotionally. But I don't like their energy. No, you're dealing with somebody who is frivolous here. Uh yeah, they not, they don't have a sound judgment uh, when it comes to uh, realizing that certain people are not belonging in our life, uh, especially troublemakers like this. So this person likes to impress other people. Uh, yeah, it's like they don't feel comfortable in their own skin. They need to be reassured by people around them that they're worthy of something. So you're dealing with somebody who does not have a strong character. Uh, maybe they'll grow and get better soon, but so far it shows um, they of weak character, allowing other people to influence them. People who are troublemakers, that moon card with uh, Seven of Wands was not a good combination. Uh, let me see them towards you more. Let's see. Some of you may be dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Death, uh, Scorpio. A lot of you are dealing with the Scorpio. So they are wishy-washy. They are uncertain how to handle this. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, also Scorpio. They're showing up here as wishy-washy, uncertain, heartbroken, confused. So 
so yeah so there has to be reciprocity this person wants to reconcile with you be on good terms with you uh, they view you as very judgmental. I'm not saying that's how you are, Libra, but they view you, based on their experience with you, as very harsh, judgmental, which obviously you need to be, if their energy showed up, as so unstable. Uh, you you got to do what's best for you, Libra. You can't compromise yourself if somebody is toxic. Yeah. So there is definite soul connection you have with this person. Gemini energy showing up here. This person wants to reconcile with you. They realize that there was a mistake made, whether they made it, you both made it. Um, they want to figure out the way to proceed. They want to, uh, for a lot of them, they made that mistake. Um, they want to proceed. I didn't realize there was another card underneath uh, the Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So this person wants to see you face to face. And this also means some kind of offering, like a gift or apology, more likely a gift. Um, Libra, we're going to go into the extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you. Anything they hiding from you, whether it's on purpose or they can't communicate right now for whatever reason, we're going to ask uh, what it is that they're hiding from you that the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time uh, for your highest good and anything else the universe needs you to know whether it's about your health finances family i just looked on the bottom of the deck <clears throat> hangman so you've been putting kind of your life on hold trying to figure out how to proceed uh there's not enough resolution for you to let this person go so you may want to get some kind of resolution to decide if you really want them in your life or not so um libra click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you then